Uh, today I have a little bit of different video. This is not autograph related per se. Um, it's just a little uh, video uh, showing how, uh, how the autograph uh, um, community and how autographing affects a lot of people's lives. And uh, this is a picture of Darren Dalton here. And many of you know that he has since deceased as of 2017. And he was a really good autograph signer. I had just uh, not known that until recently. And a while back ago I sent a trading card. It was a uh, Portland Beavers trading card. Well today I got a letter here. Um, this sheet of paper here, Darren Dalton 1962 to 2017. This is probably better than an autograph. It says, during Darren's short time on this earth he touched many people's life. He never turned down signing autographs and answering fan mail. It is with the greatest humility that we his family must return to you your autograph or your request for your his autograph. <clears throat> know that he would be humbled by your request as we are. Thank you for your request and interest in our son, respecting respectfully his loving family. And it was just very nice that my card came back. <clears throat> Not signed, of course, but I don't care. I just, you know, one of my favorite cards, he was on the Portland Beavers. I never got to see him on the Beavers because I believe that was a year before I moved to Oregon. But I just, when I found he was on the Beavers, I just thought that was so cool. And I wanted to PC him when I was a kid because I rooted for the Phillies when they were doing all their good stuff and going to the World Series. And I just liked him as a player and I just thought it was really cool. And I liked him and Kruk and all those guys. So, I don't know. This is just kind of a neat thing that I'll keep and put in like an 8x10 sheet protector in my binder. And uh, that's really all I have for you. If you have anything more to add, uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching.